tracking back, picking up the ball. Oh, that's wonderful. And that surely is the winner. Doman there, picking up the ball into the circle from Kazines. John John Doman ghosting in behind the Australian defence. And uh, enough on the ball to take the ball into the Australian net. With an extra player having taken their goalkeeper off. Oh dear, one on one at the back here. Breels, he's got the support of Doman underneath him. This to win it for Belgium, and they do inside the final minute to shake things up in the pool. But now Belgium will win the pool. Well, what a clever backhand there from Breels. He puts that into the pass of John John Doman and he slides that off on his back stick. And look how much it means to him and the home fans here in Antwerp. What a finish from the skipper. They kept their cool right the way to the very end. And now that means Great Britain finished second in the pool. Scenes is at the first battery. Hendricks at the second. It's hit the first runner, but it followed up. And it is a goal. Out to the top and flicked him well. It takes the number one runner's knees. Van Doren seeing the ball out to the right-hand castle. Opens up the space, trying to whip round it. Good number one running, but absolutely nothing that Kindler could do. The reaction is the ball's changed direction off his defensive runner. Opens up the space, Van Doren finishes. Here they go. Well, they're doing what they did yesterday against Korea. That's another penalty corner. Play on, two all. Well, Belgium have equalised in the final seconds of the second quarter. Van Doren getting the... Well, it looked like it was going to be a reward there for the moment. And now by their playing advantage, playing the advantage really well. And really, you've got to say that the Belgians have just reacted to this better here. We've had some spicy clashes in recent times. Now, this is a great chance and a great finish. It's Matthias Paredes, the captain, who notches up his third goal. But yet again, the interchange of passes left the Netherlands defence napping. So it's crash ball in yet again. First touch is a dive for Van der Linden, but great play. Upright backhand past Stockman's right foot. Not a conventional finish, it's not a low backhand. Played upright through. There's a suggestion of back sticks to me because of the stick position. Nothing's called, however, there's nothing that Stockman can do. Oh, this is beautifully done. Out of the Argentines come up with these beautiful individual efforts. Matthias Paredes this time gets that flick on and deep into the circle. No, no, all the Argentine uh, players standing free in the circle. Budget defense, ball watching, and a defense and a, and a great tip in by Paredes. Okay. It's worked before. Do they try and change it up here? They went to Pelliat again. This time, once more, Pelliat! Why not? He makes it a hat trick! Gonzalo Pelliat! Well, it's Manchester's right hand again, and that's gone through him. This is pure pace from Pelliat. There's nothing obscuring Manchester's view. It's down the right foot of the number one runner, and he's absolutely whipped it past the goalkeeper, who's on his knees, there's no issue with height, but unable to explode and get his left hand across to create an effective barrier. Look on his favourite corner, top right as we look. It's a goal, Gonzalo Payet gets a second in the Hockey World League semi-finals and that was emphatic past Nicolas Jacobi. He's done exactly what he's done before, it wasn't a clean stop, the Germans are offsetting to protect the bottom corner, that's 5k faster than what he's done so far this tournament, it's past the big goalkeeper's left foot, there's no real extension. Both the castles, Orchard stops, Sorello sweeps, saved by the postman, the follow-up is there, and it is Trent Mitten who's given Australia back the lead. Well placed at the back post, Mitten pounced on the rebound, 3-2 Australia. Stepped across, me to step across, opens up the goalkeeper's left foot, Sorello in drag, open wrists, postman picks it but can't get the second phase that he got against Belgium yesterday. Don't know if that stick or body can't see, it doesn't matter because the rebound goes in, Hong can't get his body across, relatively straightforward finish for Mitten. Mitten has gone to the first battery. Hayward at the second, they go to Mitten, yeah! Mitten sweeps and Witten scores! Australia have taken the lead, Trent Mitten gets his just rewards. 
Well, the injection was perfect. Jan Witten gets all the time in the world. He goes just round. He just shows he's going to flick toward the left-hand side and then flicks it hard and true. Just goes off Strijic's outstretched foot and ricochets into the top corner of the net. Turned it over at centre midfield by taking the ball too far back in his stance. Lockenden all the way through to finish and complete to open the scoring. Wetton from quite a tight handle lobs it back to Ockenden who scores. The opening goal of the game goes Australia's way. Eddie Ockenden the scorer. It's Australia 1, India 0. And getting the goal. Yeah, Rapinda Powell stayed a bit too static on the edge of his circle. Cottage had been done. Shri just did everything that he possibly could. That's static tackling. That's not a man who's on his toes and able to move. Great decision from Wetton to draw the goalkeeper. That's class international awareness. Now this has been picked up yet again. It's well done by Wetton. Almost finding his teammate. Still back with him. Could be a chance and it's been beautifully finished off as well by Eddie Okenden. That's the value of experience that this man brings to the table. The captain of Australia has put them two ahead now. Bocard runs back here to support the attack. Got the ball in his stick. Now decides he's going to spin cleverly and go through Ockenden. Ockenden getting a left hand down. Gupsov exposed. Tucked under his arm as he's gone for the long extension. Needed to get closer. But were completely undone by Bocard. Trying to drive a ball through an international opponent. It just doesn't happen. The Aussies are too strong. Look at that. Hand down on the turf. Simple pick. Reverse stick underneath the keeper.